Yes, coming up on the Sports Report, we're bringing you everything Pepperdine Sports. We're going to be going live from the Fieldhouse to preview tonight's women's basketball game against LMU. Plus, senior night for men's basketball. We have full highlights. Don't move. Richie Estrella here with PepperdineSports.com. Pepperdine, 10-4 winners over at Kent State today. I'm here with our player of the game, Colton Yamaguchi. Colton, 3 for 5 today. What were you seeing out there when you were at the plate? It seemed like you were really locked in. Yeah, I could just pick up the ball real quick out of the, the release. I was seeing it well today and just trying to score, try to get some runs on the board. It wasn't your ordinary homecoming this past Friday at Agora Hills High School when NFL linebacker Clay Matthews of the Super Bowl champion Green Bay Packers and Joey LaRoque, formerly of the New York Jets, came home to have their jerseys retired at the football game. The pregame ceremony held by athletic director Jason Rosenthal saw over 3,000 people in the stands to see both men have their jerseys retired. We got a chance to meet Clay Matthews, Super Bowl champion, and get his thoughts on how it feels to come back home to Agora. Well, I, I wish I could say nerves, but it's more so just excitement to be back. Um, obviously, this is, this is my first game back since graduating here in 2004, so it's a great honor. It's a great deal to be back, and uh, you know, I'm looking forward to, to seeing some of the old players who are here now coaching, uh, obviously Coach Charlie Wager, and just the team, and just to be around uh, high school football again. Pacific, who currently participates in the Big West Conference in sports, will become the 10th team and will mark the return of the Tigers, who once played in the WCC over four decades ago. And after quite a long layoff, the men's volleyball squad will have a busy weekend up north when they square off against Stanford on Friday, the Cardinal are 10-1 and, and are the number one ranked team in Division I. Torres and company will then have a quick turnaround when they tangle with the number 11 Pacific Tigers in Stockton on Saturday. Josh Taylor and Torres lead the waves offensively, averaging nearly four kills per set. Pro definitely looked like they were shocked, but you guys, you guys have been running the ball very efficiently the entire uh, LA City playoffs, and you guys went vertical on these guys today. I'm here with Corbin Moore. Corbin. Another big game for you, back-to-back double-doubles. Talk about what's working for you offensively right now, why you're putting up such big numbers. Uh, it's mainly the guards. They've been being, been able to penetrate and kind of get in the lane and make plays for me and Taylor. I mean, I think in the first half of this game, we had 11 buckets on 10 assists. I had to see the game against Santa Clara where things started, it seems like they're starting to click a lot better now. Um, looking forward to the second half of WCC, how much does that mean to you guys, having a full roster healthy, everybody playing you know, at their best right now? It's huge. Uh, if you know, we are a better team when we have all of our parts. I, I, I know Redlands East Valley was missing guys when they played Mission Viejo, but I'm just saying it's an easy letdown game after a rivalry game and after already yeah. beating all those guys. I don't believe in letdowns, but well, what about Modern Day? You yeah, what about Modern letdown. Day, Reg? Okay. Come on, I was right, going to okay. say that. Those yeah. top two stay the same. We have Servite at number one taking care of business today. Westlake beating Moore Park. Moore Park, a very tough team in the Marmani League, 34 to 13. Team loses, it. it could be, but I mean two losses, I mean they could have two losses at the end of the season, that means in the playoffs, you know, I'm just, yeah. okay, I'm, okay. I'm covering my tracks here, oh, okay. I'm covering now my tracks here. Right. It's <laughs> been a wild four years for you, obviously, coaching changes, guys coming and going, uh, senior night's coming up next week, what are you going to take away from that experience, you know, is it going to be an emotional night, are you going to break down on the court, are we going to have to wipe some tears off, how's it going to be for you, senior night here at Pepperdine? I'm, I'm excited for it just because it's our last game of all the hours that the seniors have put in over the last four and a half years. And I definitely believe that that's going to be huge because BYU, great guard play, great shooting. And the thing that you look at, Pepperdine's having some trouble scoring the ball. And Katie Matten, your best three-point shooter being out, that can never be a good thing. That's right. And right now they moved on yesterday and they hosted Bakersfield Frontier High in the first round of the state title playoffs. We'll see how it went. It was a packed house at Calabasas High and the Coyotes did not disappoint. In the first quarter, it was Calabasas High's Jeremy Lieberman finds Spencer Levy in the corner for the three. The Coyotes take a 10-2 lead early. And the standout forward, Joshua Cohen, with a drive to the hoop for two here. The Coyotes were piling on at this point, 37-19 at the half. Charles Abua led all BYU scores with 23 points in the night. BYU rolls over Pepperdine, 86-48. Not the proudest moment for a Pepperdiner. Right now, I'm not too proud. That's Brandon Davies right there, putting it down on Taylor Darby. Fresh off their 103-92 thumping of Portland Monday, the Lakers went on the road last night to take on the defending champs in Dallas. And the savior of baseball in L.A. has arrived, and so has the first controversial episode with the Angels and Albert Pujols. The Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim and their marketing department has launched its 2012 campaign, highlighted with 70 billboards in SoCal, 20 of which would show Pujols with the name El Hombre. Oscars, what do you say, Rich? Yeah, I think we have to have one last chance for the ladies to tell us why we should go see this movie. I know it's going to be at Walgreens, it's going to be at the Rite Aid CVS, and we don't mean 
Uh, Regal, we do mean Walgreens right at CBS. We're talking to Sean Waters right now. Why should we go pick up this copy of the DVD at the photo booth? Oh, well, it's not actually going to be released until spring. Uh, do they think we can't do that here? <laughs> at the age of 22, I think I understand. Well, we do have LA. Not to just walk in a girl's bathroom and just yeah. be like, hey, hey, I'm here, you know? Like, <laughs> That's Colton Yamaguchi, our player of the game today, Pepperdine 10 4 winners over Kent State. They'll be back tomorrow, 3 p.m., and then Long Beach State, 3 p.m. on Tuesday. Thanks a lot, Colton. Hi, I'm Larry Mizell, the principal of Agora High School, and Agora High School welcomes... Time Warner Prep Sports Night Live! Agora High School, with a tradition-rich program in cheer, is fortunate enough to have financial leadership in each one of their five captains, and we were lucky enough to speak with each one of them, and given their duties, we see that these girls are much more than cheerleaders and natural-born leaders. I'm Jordan, hi. <laughs> anyway, Jordan, tell me more about your position on the team. I know you're a captain. Um, yeah. Let the people know what you do. Okay, well, I'm a varsity song leading captain. So that means that I keep the girls in check, which is the, the varsity song leaders, the dancers slash cheerleaders. Um, I help with their moves and their technique, um, their flexibility and all that type of stuff. So the choreography, I make sure it's on count, and I basically keep them all in order. Coach McGrew has led the team to nine USA championships, two CIF titles, along with numerous other state and regional titles. They are the only Marmani League team to boast both a cheer and song team, hence the name, the Agora Spirit Team. The best part about being a Charger girl is the pride that comes along with it and the legacy you live up to because we built such a great program and to be a part of it, you feel like you're a part of a great, something great. <laughs>